My name is Maricela Garcia. I'm from uh, California originally, but I'm from Little Rock now. Hello, my name is Jose Alfaro, and I'm from El Paso, Texas. Hello, my name is Tamika Edwards, and I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. Hello, my name is Lauren Ferris, and I'm from El Paso, Texas. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Armstrong, and I'm originally from Mississippi. Hello, my name is Caleb Garcia. I'm from Colorado, but I grew up in South Texas most of my life. Hello, my name is James Skurlock, and I'm originally from Gallatin, Texas. My name is Jeffrey Thomas, and I'm from Magnolia, Arkansas. I had a bunch of women who were around me who inspired me to become a lawyer. My family. Working with people out in the community. I chose UALR Bowen uh, School of Law because Little Rock is a great city. It's the capital. Everything's happening down here. They sent the letter in the mail saying I could come, so that's what why I came. Um, I chose Bowen uh, primarily because of the fact that it had a great reputation, um, especially with regard to writing, um, which was something that I really wanted to get involved in. I chose it because I visited the law school and the people were very welcoming and extremely friendly and I felt like they were family here and accepted me without even knowing me really and they're just very kind to me. There was, I don't know how secret it was, but if you go into the library on the first floor, all the way to the back, kind of by the computers, there's this one lonely table that no one ever sits at, it's quiet, and that's where I uh, got most of my studying done. In my car, it was closed in, I didn't have to worry about people passing by and talking to me, so I just sat in my car most times to study. I worked for the library, so it was hard for me to study in the building because everybody came up and started talking to me, but I had a few secret places no one really knows about. I don't keep it that way, so those people for future years can have those spots as well. Well, the, on the first floor of the library, there's a, a back table right in the back by the computer lab, and I would try to go back there and do my homework. It was, it was pretty quiet because no one came back there too often. The fourth floor of the library in the, the little cubicle areas over by the bathrooms, no one ever went there. In the gallery on the second floor, if you go up there, really nobody's up there. You can get in the corner couch and spread everything out. I think that um, what I want to do is work with the immigrant community in Arkansas. I think it's a, a community that's really underserved. They don't have a lot of access. And a lot of the things that are going on right now can be really hard for them to deal with. And so for me, public service is about giving back to your community that you came from. I enjoyed going to school every day because of those values. What the school did for me was it showed me how I can use them as a tool. It trained me how to better, uh, to better take these values into the community. I think the public service is one is that really that I really enjoy what I, I, I did a lot of volunteer work. I'm going to miss the people and always having friends around and the professors and administration there to help you with everything you needed and just having that family unit. I miss all the people that I had the privilege of getting to know and meet and hang out with. There's a lot of great people at the school and I'm going to miss them all. Nothing. <laughs> I've been here too long, I want to move on. I'm going to miss the people. I've made tons of friends and also uh, the professors have been wonderful. Um, it's the people that make this school.